good morning everyone. Uh, it's Ian Fraser here with WestShoreHomeSearch.com, your agent with Coldwell Banker, and today I'm interviewing a good friend of mine, new friend of mine, and a referral friend of mine, Connor Gann with TD Mobile Mortgage Specialist. Um, Connor is here today to discuss a few of the hot topics that a lot of my clients are asking in regards to some changes happening with mortgages. And uh, Connor, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been doing mortgages? Okay, so first of all, thank you for the introduction. Um, I've been doing mortgages for about three years now. I was a mortgage broker previous uh, to my role with TD here. Um, kind of glad I went down the mortgage broker, broker route beforehand. Mm -hmm. I uh, learned a lot about all, all the different lenders out there, uh, how we compete against other lenders, B lenders, private lenders, kind of uh, in, uh, lending at a whole. Okay. Um, and then I moved, made the move over to TD Canada Trust uh, as a mobile mortgage specialist. It's kind of a bit more about our role there is we um, we service up, uh, every single branch in the city, 13 branches in Victoria, oh, wow. um, and we um, we're also available outside of banking hours. Uh, we if you if you can't make it into the branch, we can also come to uh, your home. Uh, it's all about convenience to the client making it easy. So I, I love that. As a, as a father with a young one at home, um, getting anywhere is a challenge. So being able to go over rates, terms, and know what I qualify for without having to get a babysitter is huge. So uh, I think that's a fabulous service you guys provide. Uh, one of the questions that I have is, and what I've been asked, when it comes to the stress test, what is going to be changing for people with their qualifications? What is the stress test? And how is that going to impact uh, people's purchasing going forward? Her, yeah, that's a great question. Uh, that's, that's honestly the biggest factor of when it comes to a mortgage qualification and, and uh, pre-qualifying for a mortgage. So I'll start with what, what the stress test is. Um, essentially, it takes into account your, your annual income. And then there's a GDS ratio and there's a TDS ratio. And what the GDS ratio is your total housing costs. Okay. Um, and then the TDS ratio takes in town, into account your total debt. So your housing costs and also visas, uh, car loans or anything like that, etc. Okay. Yep. Um, and then in terms of, so the GDS ratios, we have a, uh, an industry um, uh, uh, regulation that uh, is regulated federal, federally, um, which is 39%. What that means is so you can have 39% of your uh, annual income go towards your annual housing costs. Okay. And then on the TDS ratio, um, it's 44%. So 44% of your annual income can go towards your housing debt and your total uh, other debt. Right? Yeah, got it. Um, and then in terms of uh, different um, regulations that have come out, um, the beginning of this year they rolled out um, that we have to qualify your uh, mortgage payments at 2% higher than the contract rate. So what that means is um, an increase in your uh, mortgage interest rate means an increase in your mortgage payments. Therefore, your total debt increases. Therefore, it, it affects your stress test ratio. Okay. So, so they increase the payments to make sure you still service, uh, to make sure it's still affordable just, just in case. Well, the reason why they're increasing is because um, obviously, there's lots of talk in the industry about interest rates rising over the next yep. couple of years here. Um, and also, uh, I think it's 70% 70, 70 of mortgages in the next five years are for renewal. So they're making sure uh, borrowers do not overextend themselves. Um, Which is in smart. Years, yeah. Yeah. So they're policing us for the financial responsibility that some of us have been uh, a little loose with. So um, all good. So how can uh, my clients get a hold of you? And um, if uh, the, what's the best way to reach you? Um, what's your number and what's your email? Yeah, the best way to reach me is honestly just from, uh, by my cell phone. Uh, my number is uh, 250 920 8668. Okay. Um, and, and then also by email. Um, what we can do is uh, I'm sure we'll post some uh, yeah, I'll both put of that, our con I'll put that con down below. contact information down it. below. Yeah. Um, so it's easy for you guys to access and yeah. obviously. Vice versa, if you want to get hold of Ian, you can reach me and uh, Ian, yeah. same thing, right? Absolutely. So, um, 
Yeah, that's probably the best way to get a hold of me. This is great. So we'll, we're going to have more videos coming forward as we get more questions and more uh, responses from people. So um, if you have a question for Connor, um, please feel free to put it in the section below. And uh, we'll look forward to putting out the next bit of content in the next little while. So Connor, thanks very much yeah, for coming thanks in. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. It's a pleasure. We'll talk to you soon.